Welcome to Lexington, Kentucky, here in the Bluegrass State, where the hospitality flows freely. Home of the Kentucky Wildcats and the Big Blue Nation, ready for this collision today. And wow, do we have a fun one here ahead. A top 10 team walking into the snake pit of an environment, just trying to get out alive. This will be fun, as we'll see the number one team in the country, the Georgia Bulldogs taking on another SEC team, the Kentucky Wildcats. 3A Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, here in the booth with Kirk Herbstreit. I think we've talked long enough, Kirk. Let's get this game going. The guards will kick this deep to begin the game. Bringing it out, it's Brown. And he stopped at the 18. Returner trying to make a play, but a touchback would have been a better idea. First down here for this offense. Here's the option play. And he'll be tackled behind the line of scrimmage. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? A handoff to the back. The junior able to bring him down quickly. You know, in the era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the defense has countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example of a defense has the ability to play wide, but still be solid at the line of scrimmage and not give up big run plays. Now in third and very long, looking to throw. Looking to set up a screen pass here. Defense makes the stop. The screen pass doesn't produce a first down. And now it's fourth down. Great job here by the defense. Third down and long. You drop back in coverage. Keep everything in front of you. Force that quarterback to have to check the ball down. And then you rally to the football to force his fourth down. Great job here by the D. And in fourth down, they'll punt it away here. This one will be fair caught. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? To throw. It's back. Short connection to the tight end here. And they tackle him, but not before he picks up the first. Really good route here by the receiver, but I love the quarterback's ability to look off that safety and make that throw. And that's part of the quarterback's job here when you play in Athens for this Georgia offense. They've had some great quarterbacks over the years. Guys like Matthew Stafford and Aaron Murray and more recently Jake Fromm and of course Stetson Bennett who won back-to-back -back national championships. And what they're seeing today from this quarterback, they got to be very proud of. They bring him down to the 27. This offense really threatening now. Boy, great patience and acceleration to be able to pick up this first down by this back from Georgia. You think of Georgia backs, you think about Herschel Walker right away, right? Sonny Michelle, Todd Gurley, Nick Chubb, no Sean Marino. I mean, the list goes on and on of great Georgia backs. On first down, it's play action. Quick throw over the middle. He's got it right near the end zone. And they stop him just short, but the defense really backed up now. It's first and goal. Chris, how about the offensive balance these last couple plays we're seeing from these guys? Not only are they balanced, but the explosiveness. A big run followed up by a big play through the air. Man, it puts a lot of pressure on this defense. And the Bulldogs looking to finish the drive here. It's first and goal. The pass rush closing in. Able to get the pass away, but took a hit that time. Second and goal for the offense. On the ground, trying to muscle it across the line. Couldn't quite get in, but they're knocking on the door at the one. Well, they came very close to punching that one in, and now third down and goal, and if I'm the OC, I challenge my offensive line in that back. I just slam it right back into that A-gap and try to overpower that defensive front. He moves the ball to the one. Third down and goal. 
Penalty on the defense won't make much difference this close to the goal line. Third down and goal for the offense. To throw, it's back. Oh, and he dropped it. The would-be touchdown could not come up with the football. Now it's fourth down. Hey, the good news is here, Chris, they're still in field goal range, and they didn't cost themselves any points. But they could have more. They've got to be thinking about going for this on fourth and short. So here comes the kicking team on the field. They'll settle for three. Long enough and good. So we have our first points on the board. That makes it 3 nothing. Chris, they get the three points, but looking back at it, fourth and in inches. Pretty conservative call there. I really thought they would have gone for it. Following the field goal, the kickoff team is out there now. And here's the return from inside the five. And the return man brought down. That's DC yardage on that return. And here comes the Kentucky offense back out there. They were held to a quick three and out last time, looking to put together a positive drive here. Running with purpose. Breaks loose at the 40. Tackle was made, but not before he makes the 43-yard line. This drive is going now. All right, Chris, let's face it. Most of the offensive linemen today, they're big. You know, they weigh over 300 pounds. But that doesn't mean they don't have to have agility. And the way they can get out there in front of the runner, create space, sometimes it looks like they're going in one direction. And a runner uses his eyes to take him in another direction because he's been blocked so well love those misdirectional counter plays and this one worked out really well for a nice piece of yards and a first down important second down play coming up they'll run it to the right side they'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one Boy, nice job by this defense being able to diagnose the counter play. You know, when you run that counter, you're hoping the illusion of the offense going one way and then coming back the other that the defense buys into it. But they didn't buy it at all here, and they come up with a nice loss. So to avoid another punt here in the second drive, they got to convert here on third down. Defense is coming after him. He's going to take off. He stopped short of the marker, so it's fourth down now. Special teams on the field now. Here comes a punt. Looking to kick it away for the second time. On the return, it's Evans. And the returner is tackled by this punt coverage team. And the powerful Georgia offense is back out on the field. The last possession, they moved it, but settled for a chip shot. So it's sort of an unsatisfying result. Looking to do more here. Let's it go quickly. And it's incomplete. The defender arrived the same time as the football. And now it's second down. Chris, I thought he had his hands on that football. I thought he was going to come down with it. But give the defense all the credit when a big hit to knock that ball loose. So after the incompletion, it's second down. To throw, it's back. Here's a screen pass to the running back. Heads out of bounds after a solid gain, more than enough to pick up a first down. Well, this is great execution here on this screenplay to the running back to pick up big yards in the first down. I think in the process, Chris, they send a message to the defense. You can rush our quarterback all you want, but when you do, you better be careful because we're going to throw the screen on you. Big guys up front lined up. It's first down. On the ground, it's ETN. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. Chris, you know, the spread error over the years has always grown offensively, but what I've been always impressed with the defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage and defend a running game. It's exactly what we saw right there. Second down after that run on the previous play. 
Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. Things just appeared to be a bit out of sync from the get-go on that one. Give credit to the front seven of that defense for staying in the proper lanes and getting to the ball carrier, not let him dance around and make something out of nothing. To come to the line, a long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. The pocket breaking down. Slides to avoid the big hit. Love to see quarterbacks try to keep a play alive. He gave it everything he had here. He came up short of the first down. But boy, he gave him a chance. The Bulldogs will send their punt team onto the field. And the returner elects to fair catch it. No return. And the Kentucky offense is back out on the field. They were forced to punt it away last time, so let's see if they can get clicking in this possession. Here's a fumble way behind the line of scrimmage. Defense grabs the football. It's a turnover. I think that's on the quarterback and the offensive line. They were breathing down this quarterback's neck before he could even recognize that they were there, and they were able to knock it loose. The formal recovery gives the offense a great opportunity. It's first and goal now. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. Couldn't quite get there, but brought down at the one-yard line. Chris, down here inside a 10-yard line. These are tough yards to come by. Positive yards. Good push inside there by that offensive line. Coming up, second down and goal. On the ground, trying to power toward the goal line. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Bulldogs. Well, no surprise from offense this good. Short field, quick touchdown. Yeah, you get into the red zone, though, there's a tendency to want to get conservative. I love that the offensive coordinator and the quarterback kept attacking until they came away with seven points. They're set now to try the PAT. And the extra point gives them a double-digit lead. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. Returner looking to make a play here. And they've got the returner corralled. And here comes the Kentucky offense back out there. That fumble in the last possession set up a touchdown. And they bounce back from that costly error here. Locates the tight end. It's complete. A big hit by the linebacker. Able to knock him down. Boy, that's pretty good coverage here by this defense. Not much of a window to throw this ball into. But the quarterback's accuracy and the size of the tight end picks up a nice game. A completion makes it second down. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Boy, this defense is strong up front. Linebackers are flying downhill, able to make plays against this run game. Now they get this offense to another third down. Now you pressure that quarterback and try to build on the lead. So let's see what they like here on third and short from inside their own 20. Important to pick up this first down. Looking to pass, it's Vandegrift. Catch made down the left side, an explosive play. And the game just good enough for a first down. And you just continue to see the chemistry between these two. And they told us yesterday in our production meeting, they spent hours and hours of working and developing that chemistry and that rhythm by throwing together throughout those summer months. And man, it's starting to really pay off. He's become his security blanket for the quarterback. And especially on third down, get him the ball. He shreds the tackle. They've got him down out near the 40. Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense think, are they going to run 
maybe play action, maybe throw the ball downfield. Again, makes it second and medium. Off the play fake, looking to throw the football. Here's a shot toward the right sideline. Oh, and it's nearly intercepted, but dropped by an excellent defensive player. It's going to bring up third down. A pretty nice catch here, but a missed opportunity for an interception. Let's face it, a lot of these defenders, they've got it all. Speed, athleticism, but hands? Sometimes a little questionable, as we saw here. It's third down. Quarterback in the shotgun. Trying to create outside the pocket now. They get him down, but that's a good run. Enough to move the six and keep this drive going. This is a deflating play for this defense on third and short. Good coverage. They take away all the short routes, but the one person who wasn't accounted for is the quarterback, and he uses his legs to pick it up. This Kentucky offense is quickly moving down the field. They'll give it to the running back. He gains nine, so it's second and one. Man, you know, the back gets a lot of the attention here, and he's a good back. But I love to see that offensive line win the battle of the line of scrimmage. The offense will line up. Chance for a couple more plays before the end of the quarter. And there's the handoff. Defense makes the tackle here on the final play of the first quarter. So here we go, first play of the quarter. The offense has a first down. Handoff to the single back. The gain is five, so it's second and five now. I think this defense keeps thinking about them throwing the football, and by doing that, they're opening up running lanes. Good positive yards there by the running back. The game makes it second and medium. The receiver's got it on a jet sweep. Fighting off the defender. Will he score here? Touchdown, Kentucky. There was no stopping him. And now here comes the point after attempt. The extra point is good. They trail by three now, 10-7. Getting set to kick the ball off now. He'll return it from inside the five. And he stopped at the 20. Tried to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. Remember last time they scored a touchdown. Can they keep clicking here? Or will the defense come up with a stop? From the shotgun, it's a handoff. The gain is two yards, so it's second and eight. For the defense coordinator this week, all week telling us about gap integrity, not giving this running back any creases at all. Really sound defense on that play. Second down after that run on the previous play. Looking downfield, it's back. It's incomplete. That was caused by the defensive pressure. And now it brings up third down. Well, it's pretty simple. The defensive line does a great job of getting after the quarterback and forcing him into that incompletion. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. Oh, and it's dropped by a normally very reliable receiver. That's going to bring up fourth down. Well, Chris, obviously they had to go through the air there to try to pick up this third down and long. But when you're so far behind the chains, boy, you really allow this defense to dictate things and it allows them to put pressure on your quarterback and can affect the timing as we saw on this play. They'll kick it away here. 
bringing it back, it's Brown. And the coverage team able to bring the returner to the ground. And the Kentucky offense is back out on the field. The last possession was just old school power football. Let's see if they can keep that going here. Short throw complete to the tight end. But he's hammered by the linebacker. What a hit. Just a good job of spreading the wealth, making sure everybody's getting their touches. When you do that, the defense can't lock in on one guy or two guys. Make them have to be aware of everybody and allows you to continue to spread the ball around and spread the field, making it tougher for this defense. Now run it here. That's the running back with the ball. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Well, I don't think the offensive line gave the back much of a chance at all. Now, give credit to the defense. It was almost like they were anticipating a run and got up close to the line of scrimmage in a hurry. Now the offense facing a third and long from their own 41. Scanning the field, it's Vandegriff. And he floats this pass deep down the right side. But this one is broken up, falls incomplete. Boy, this is all about the defense here. Nice stop here on third down, but really it's about trying to get this offense behind the sticks. Once you get them behind the sticks, you can mix up your coverages, really affect the quarterback's eyes and disrupt the timing and the rhythm of what the offense is trying to do. Now we've got another big fourth down coming up. And on fourth down, the punter sends it away. Running it back, it's Evans. And the returner brought down by the coverage team there. And the Bulldogs' offense is back out on the field. Forced to punt last time. Trying to add points, build the lead right here. They'll go with the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. They'll tackle him at the 27. I tell you, to be able to pick up a nice gain like that, those offensive linemen have to sustain their blocks. Gave them a chance at a really nice gain. Again, makes it second and medium. Quarterback will throw this out of the RPO. Defense reacts quickly, a very short gain on the play. And here the tight end shows off his hands for a nice game. Love to see the big man get his touch. So a very makeable third down for the offense with a 29. A pop pass on the jet sweep. And he went backwards after the catch. That'll set up a fourth down now. Hey, I, I really like the idea on third down. I can kind of see the thought process there. Make an unconventional call on third down. Sometimes that can work out. But the defense was just prepped and ready for it this time. The Dogs will bring their punt team onto the field. He's on to kick it away, helping his team with field position. And here's the fair catch by the return man. And here comes the Kentucky offense back out there. This group is coming off a quick three and out. Can they put something together in this drive? Oh, here comes the reverse. And they'll tackle him for a loss of five yards. Well, the backside rules for a defense against the run are to check for the cutback, the counter, or reverse. That time they stayed home and were in perfect position and were able to stop that reverse in its track. Second down after that previous play. Looking to pass, it's Vandegrift. Running back has it on a screen now. Heads out of bounds as a short gain on the play. Good time here to drop this screen in by the offensive coordinator and a nice job by the running back being able to pick up some positive yards here on this play. Crucial third down play after that completion. Handoff running right. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Well, that was that excellent linebacker with a clear path just running downhill quickly. You know, I think one of the great things about watching this guy play all year is his vision. He just has great instincts. That time the defensive line ate up all the linemen, freed up the linebacker to get into the backfield, and the result is a tackle for a loss for the backer. And at fourth down, they'll punt it away here. With the return, it's Evans. Good effort by the return man. They get him down, but that's a solid gain on the return. And the powerful Georgia offense is back out on the field. 
Off the play fake, looking to throw. Fires it to the wideout. And he's got his man open downfield. They bring him down, but a big chunk of yardage on the play. Just a really good ball here to be able to pick up this first down for the Georgia offense. And, you know, being able to have a balanced attack, so important in modern college football. And Georgia does that as well as anybody. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? Fakes the handoff here, looking to throw it. Let's it fly out of the wideout. And he's got it. And he's down after the catch at the 12. A red zone opportunity. Yeah, you know this defense has got to be frustrated after giving up multiple conversions now on first downs. There's another one. But for the offense, man, they're just playing very efficiently right now. The dog's looking to take advantage of this red zone trip. First down. Looking to throw the football. Caught near the goal line. Brought down at the three after the completion. The offense really threatening now. Chris, that's a great example of his arm strength. He just fired the ball in there much quicker than the defense could even react. Here comes a crucial second down play. Every yard tough to find down here in the red zone. Looking for a gap. It's ETN. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Boy, it is tough to run the football inside this five-yard line. Give all the credit to that defensive line eating up those linemen, allowing the rest of the defense to fly to the football for that short loss. Crucial. Third down coming up in the red zone. Can they keep the drive going, or will they have to settle for three? To the air. It's back. This one's going to fall incomplete. Brings up fourth down. Well, it's decision time now, Chris. Fourth and short coming up. And you know they're thinking about going for this one. Likely looking at that play sheet and finding the go-to play that'll help them pick up this first down and keep this drive alive. They're thinking six points. Coach is going to take the three points. Here comes the field goal unit. And it's good right down the middle. Well, they almost put a touchdown on the board, but instead they come away with three points. So after coming away with three in that drive, the kickoff team is out. And he takes this from inside the five. Makes it to the 16. That's good coverage there. And the Kentucky offense is back out on the field. They're coming off a quick three and out. So looking to put something together on this drive with a little more urgency. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. What makes a really good counter play? is selling it to the defense. You're going to go one way and then handing it off in the opposite direction. But if you don't sell it, you're just giving the defense more time to see what's going on. They can come up and make the tackle, just like you saw there. Hands it off on the counter. And the game moves the ball to the 20-yard line. Well, those counter plays are tough on a defense. Defense has got to be gap sound. You get so caught up in the base concepts if the offense comes back with a counter play, if you're not sound with your gap integrity, you can give up a big play. They punted four times already on the verge of a fifth, but they can't convert this third down. He's moving out of the pocket. The defense gets him, but it's a first down. Shows you how dangerous he can be scrambling. This is why I love the quarterbacks that can make things happen. Here you have an opportunity to try to create. Nothing's there, play breaks down. Instead of just throwing it away, he sits back, sees nothing downfield, decides to be able to pick up the first down by himself. Impressive run to pick up the first and keep this drive moving. Takes the ball, tries the right side here. And we're able to tackle the ball carrier there. But the back just had nowhere to go. How about the defensive line? They eat up all the blocks up front, freeing those linebackers up to be able to make the play. Just a bad play all around for this offense. Getting set. Here's second down. Oh. 
Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. See, that's how you limit what an offense wants to do. This time, the defense just won the battle up front at the line of scrimmage, not giving up any big plays. Everybody's gap sound, and it's really solid defense on that play. Third down here. Time for perhaps one more play before the two-minute warning. Now the offense faces third and long from the 30. Can they convert and get a drive going? Back to pass. It's Vandegrift. He'll take a deep shot here. The catch is made for a huge pickup. Tackled all the way down at the 25-yard line. Suddenly, they're in great position to get points. That is great arm strength and accuracy by this quarterback. Let's not forget the wide receiver's job of bringing it in for that big game. Kentucky getting set with a first and 10 coming up. Quarterback sets up, looking for an open man. Oh, it's incomplete. That's a good job of the defender to break that up. That's an athletic play by the defensive back. Playing tight coverage, seeing the ball, and not giving the receiver a chance to get their hands on it. Offense lines up. This is the seventh play now on this drive. Quarterback wants to throw it on second down. Oh, it's incomplete. A rare drop from an excellent wide receiver. Brings up third down. Well, that's everything you want to see from an offense. Great execution. The line gave the quarterback time. Quarterback makes a great read, throws it to his guy, and the receiver drops it. Now he's going to have to shake that off and get ready to make that next play. The offense was moving well, but two incompletions sets up a third and ten. Wow, lays out and makes a spectacular catch. Tackle is made, but the junior quarterback shows off his arm strength that time. Boy, this is a big play by this offense. They go on the post route. It's a perfectly run route. It looks like the ball is going to be overthrown, but how about the receiver laying out to bring that one in for the big game? Looking to throw again. Launching one to the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Wildcats. Kirk, they were backed up to start the drive, but some bold play calling, great execution, and you reach the end zone. You know, it's easy to just kind of pull your horns in and get conservative when you're pushed way back close to your own goal line, but not this offense. They came out, showed the confidence that they have in their quarterback, and it paid off. Nice touchdown. And now they'll set up for the point after. They knock through the PAT and go on top 14-13. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. Return starts from inside the five. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. If they want to cut into this lead before halftime, they have to work quickly now. Running back grabs it on a screen. Finds room at the 30. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. One thing I love about this back is how he gets involved in the passing game. Nice catch here. A completion good for a first down. The offense working with a new set of downs here. Dropping back. It's back. Quick throw to the left. Physical defending. That one falls incomplete. Brings up second down. There's the snap. Quarterback setting up the throw. And this one is caught. And a timeout is called. Important stage late here in the second quarter. A new set of downs after that completion. First down. Looking to throw the ball. 
makes the grab. It's ETN. The offense will quickly spend a timeout here after the play. Well, the running back that time just kind of sneaks out of the backfield and shows his hands on that nice catch. We're back looking to pass here on second down. Makes a quick grab. They get him down pretty quickly, but it's a solid gain in that short throw. Well, the defense didn't have any time at all to get pressure on the quarterback. He gets the ball out of his hands pretty quickly on the hitch to the receiver. Offense breaks the huddle and gets set. It's third down. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Easy throw to a wide open receiver downfield. Into the end zone. Touchdown, dogs. Chris, this guy's listed as a tight end, but to me, he's really a wide receiver. Here's an example of how he can use his size and speed to overmatch this defense for a touchdown. set up for the PAT. Make the extra point and go up to six. So an important touchdown just before halftime. Not much time for the opposing offense to try to answer before the break. Fields it inside the five-yard line. And he's tackled at the 21. That's where the drive will start. The offense comes back out there. Not much time left. Perhaps just time for a couple plays before the half. Ball handed off. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. The minute is going to wrap up the first half here. Let's kick it now to Kevin Connors with our halftime update. The kickoff team out there now to get the second half underway. Fields it just outside the goal line. Tackled at the 22. Good job by the coverage team. And the Bulldogs offense is back out on the field. They get the second half started with a running play. He's brought down, but there is a flag on the field. Let's check out this call. Will that holding penalty be a drive killer? Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Launching downfield. It's complete. What a grab near the sideline. He's marked out of bounds after an excellent game, but there is a flag on the field. This one might be coming back. Back to pass. It's Beth. He's looking deep here. Receiver left alone, wide open downfield. And a huge game before he's forced out of bounds. Big yardage to set up a fresh set of downs. What a pitch and catch by the quarterback and receiver for a big game for this offense. Solid game moves the ball up to the 47. It'll be first down. Will hand it off. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Well, that's a great play all around by this defense. Your first level defenders hold their own at the point of attack, allowing the second and third level players to roam free and make the tackle close to the line of scrimmage. Offense getting set. It's second down. Handoff here from the shotgun. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Talking about quickness, that play is absolutely blown up in no time. Chris, I don't know if that's a misassignment by the offensive lineman or just really good instincts there by the defender, but that play is blown up right at the snap. Challenging play for the offense. They face third and long here from their own 43. Quarterback drops back, probing the secondary. Finds a man downfield. That's a big game to the right. And they tackle him, but not before a huge gain down near the 26. 
Well, if I'm this defense, you get these guys to third down, you better bracket or double team some kind of coverage roll to this receiver to take him away. This guy makes another big play. This Georgia offense is moving quickly down the field. Looking to throw it on first down. Caught over the middle. It's Smith. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Georgia. This guy can do it all. We've seen him go behind coverage and make plays downfield. We can see him catch the ball underneath, just like this. And when he catches a football, he is so dangerous after the catch. This one leads him into the end zone for the six points. Now a two-point conversion attempt coming up. That's the wide receiver coming in motion now. Looking downfield, it's Beck. Quick throw to his receiver. And he's got it. So the two-point try is successful, and they build the lead even further. Kickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. He's going to return it from near the goal line. Coverage team brings down the returner. And here comes the Kentucky offense back out there. Takes the handoff. It's Trainum. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Well, they run it right into a blitz, and that linebacker was coming downhill, Kirk. Man, what a time to call that blitz here by the defensive coordinator. And you're right, he shoots right through that A-gap. Really, the back had nowhere to go. By the time he got the ball in his hands, the linebacker's right in his face. Same tail back, another carry. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. Putter has been very busy so far. Can they finally convert here on third down? Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. Pressured and dropped back at the eight-yard line. Well, that takes the wind right out of your sails. This offense is trying to find a way to get back into this game. And another pressure and a sack against their quarterback. And the punt team now on to kick it away. On to kick now for the fifth time today. And the return man decides to signal fair catch. And the powerful Georgia offense is back out on the field. This group has been clicking. They've really built momentum. Can the defense make adjustments? Come up with a stop here. Off the play fake, looking to throw on first down. And the senior making a disruptive impact play. Well, you got to do a better job with your fake as the quarterback. The defense did not bite at all on the play action, allowing them to continue to come after the quarterback and come up with that sack. Second down now after the sack. They'll try the ground game here with the running back. Solid tackle, able to get him down. Offense looking to keep the drive alive. It's third down. They'll run it here. Running back has the ball. And moves the football inside the 40, and it's another first down. How impressive have these guys been up front today? Big third down, know what you need to do, get the first down, continue to hold on to that lead, continue to work clock, and get that much closer to securing a victory. 
Georgia setting up for the first and ten now. Dropping back. It's back. Snags the quick throw. They bring him down, but an explosive play by this offense. Big game. With that completion right there, this quarterback now has gone over 300 yards in this game. What a day. The dogs pick up enough to get a first down there. Using his legs, it's ETN. Coming to the line on second down, this is important. They want to avoid a third and long. They're going to run it. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. How about the timing here by the defense to shoot that gap? As an offensive lineman, you have to anticipate that, close that gap off. Otherwise, it could be a long day. So here we go, third down in the red zone, the kind of play that decides football games. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. And it's incomplete, targeting a man right near the goal line. Well, they decide to throw the ball here on third down and short. I really thought the easy thing is just run the quarterback or hand it off, pick up the first down, keep this drive alive, and get six points on the board. So the decision is to not go for it, but settle for three. Here comes the field goal team. And the field goal is good. And they add to their lead. And that one, my gosh, I mean, it's almost too easy. Nice kick. Set for the kickoff here after adding to this big lead. And here's the return from inside the five. To be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And the Kentucky offense is back out on the field. Last time was a quick three and out. Can they get a drive going this time? He's running out of time here. Looks downfield and finds a receiver who worked his way wide open. They bring him down to the 38, but that's good enough for a first down. Nice play action call here by this offensive coordinator. You know, you can freeze those linebackers just for a split second. Usually that's going to give you enough room to be able to get that tight end behind them. And if the quarterback can make a nice tight throw like this, pick up some big yards. Here's the handoff. Nice run. He's brought down to the 44. Just love watching this back run. Gets behind that offensive line, lowers his pads, and gets a nice, solid game. The game makes it second and medium. Option look. It's Vandegrift. And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. Not exactly the outcome this offense was hoping for here on the option. I'll give them credit. They didn't lose anything, so it wasn't a negative play. But this kind of play's got to be able to hit big and get down the sidelines for big yards. Third down. This offense could really use a conversion here down multiple scores. Can he make it to the marker? Brought down to the 47, and that will move the sticks. Well, that shows you the trust they have in their offensive line in this running game. To get to a third down, just trying to come up with a way to be able to keep this drive alive, keep hope alive that you can come back in this game. You rely on old reliable with that offensive line, and they come through for you. How aggressive will they be on this first down play? From the shotgun, here's an inside give. They get him down, but not before he moves the football to the 32. Nothing better than an offense on first down to be able to pick up big, positive yards like that. You can either keep giving it to the back, or it can set up play action and get the defense to come up to the line of scrimmage, and you can throw it over top of them. 
This line getting set up. It's a first down play. He hands it to the back. Running right through tacklers. Boy, how about that play, Chris? That thing just opened up the back shot through there with great acceleration. What a pickup there on first down. Kentucky getting set with a first and 10 coming up. Takes the handoff and tests the left side. Comes second down now. Every play important down here in the red zone. Scanning the field. It's Vandegrift. Misses the receiver. Incomplete. Chris, I don't know, man. I think he gets across the middle. He starts thinking about those linebackers and safeties. Got a little bit nervous. Lost his concentration and drops the ball. And they convert here on third down in the red zone. This is a four-point type of play. Touchdown or field goal. They're going to throw for it on third and short. Has caught. Can he get in? Tackle is made at the four. It'll be first down and goal. This is a big conversion by this offense. They're down now in the second half. Probably limited opportunities at this point in the game. Every chance you get your hands on the ball, you need points. They keep this drive alive right here. Here we go, first and goal. A touchdown here gets him right back into this game. Couldn't quite get there, brought down at the two. Second down and goal. Keep it on the ground, trying to power in for the touchdown. They've got him again. Defense making it very tough down here on the goal line. Crucial play to begin the new quarter. The offense sets up with a third and goal. They'll try to run this one in. He powers into the end zone. Touchdown, Kentucky. Well, when you have a big physical offensive line, you can wait to third and goal and rely on them and the running back to get you a touchdown. See if they can convert the point after. PAT up and good. They get a little bit closer. Kickoff team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. He'll return it from inside the five. Stop at the 22. That's pretty solid coverage there. And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. They moved it last time, but settled for a chip shot, looking to find the end zone this time. They'll run it here. Nowhere to run up the middle. That back just had nowhere to go. Got to give credit to the defense and their run fits on that play. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. Looking to throw. It's back. It's a screen pass complete to the running back. And he's brought down. Good job by the defense getting through the blockers. But he stopped short of the first down. Chris, that's another nice pickup through the air. I, I thought they might be really just about to run the football here with the lead. But instead, they're electing to throw the football. Different routes, quarterbacks in rhythm. 
Really, it's almost an extension of their uh, passing game. Out of the gun now on third down. Running out of time in the pocket. Just gets the pass away, but took a shot that time. Well, that's an incompletion. That'll bring up fourth down and makes you wonder if the offensive coordinator is reevaluating. Maybe a run there might have been the safer call. And the Bulldogs will have to kick it away. That's his fourth punt already today. And the coverage team makes the stop on this return. And here comes the Kentucky offense back out there. The last drive, the ground game was so successful. Ended in a touchdown. We'll see if the defense can respond to it this time. Already got the first down, but looking for more yardage. Tackle made after a big game. I mean, is this guy a threat or what? I've been so impressed by what he can do watching him this week on film. I was excited to see him get a chance to show what he could do, not just throwing, but watching him make plays like this. Fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. Using his legs. It's Trainum. Bites off a defender. Defense gets him down, but they'll take the gain on that play. It's a good, solid game. Five or six yards. Love to see that from the running game. Second down after that run on the previous play. Dropping back, it's Vandegriff. Down goes the quarterback, it's a sack. And just like that, you squeeze the life out of this offense. That's another sack by this defense. They have been in that backfield the entire game and a big reason why these guys are enjoying a lead. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. Oh, and a flag before the snap. Looked like the defense jumped into the neutral zone there. So the defender jumps into the neutral zone. Offense gets a free five yards. And now the handoff. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Man, every defensive coordinator will tell you, I just want my guys to play fast. And how about that one right there? He almost ends up tackling the quarterback as he's handing the ball off. This offense is lucky they didn't end up fumbling. So on fourth down, it's an all-important field goal attempt. Hold your breath here. This try is no good. And after the miss, they're still down by 10. Boy, this guy's usually more reliable than this. I thought that was going to be an easy field goal in three points, but instead, he misses, so you walk away with nothing. And the Bulldogs offense is back out on the field. They're coming off a three and out, looking to produce a positive drive here. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. A gain of two yards, now it's second down and eight. So early movement from the offense. That'll push him back five. Offense getting set. Second down play here. Takes the handoff again. Fights through the tackler. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. Backed up here, trying to make something happen on third and long. Dropping back, they're going to throw for the first down. Got him, he's sacked. You know, a lot of times we get caught up, Chris, in the one-on-one -on -one battles with the receivers and the DBs. Here's a great example of up front, the offensive line and the defensive line. Who wins that battle? This time the defense wins it and they get the sack.
The Bulldogs will line up to punt it away. On the kick now for the fifth time today. And the coverage team gets the returner to the ground. And the Kentucky offense is back out on the field. Hand off to the right side. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Really tough to run a good counterplay when the linebackers aren't fooled at all. This time they get down in a hurry into the line of scrimmage to make that play. Here's the second down play. Looking to throw, it's Vandegrift. Bringing pressure. And the junior able to get home with the sack. And a player is down injured after that last play. We'll take a timeout while they check him out. So a tricky situation here. Third and very long inside your own 20. How much of a risk do you take? You know this defense could be very aggressive at this moment. Airing this one out toward the sideline. And that's incomplete. They weren't afraid to let it fly, but it brings up a fourth down. Well, that's not what you want to see as an offense when you're trailing late in a football game. An incompletion on third down and long. Hey, it's a bit of a risk, but with that clock looking the way it looks right now, I think you've got to go for it here and hope to convert on fourth and long. No kick it away here. He'll call for the fair catch here. And the powerful Georgia offense is back out on the field. They were forced to punt it last time. Now they're looking to respond and add to this lead. Pressure is coming. And the quarterback finds the tight end for the completion. There's a loss after the completion. That's a good play by the defense. You know, what separates good defenses from great defenses is you're going to give up some catches. But what do you do after the offense makes a reception? Are you giving up much space? Are you giving up yards after the catch? Here, just a really good job by this defense. Yeah, they gave up a reception, but right there to make a nice tackle for a loss. The pass rush closing in. The sack in the play could not escape the pass rush. Oh, really nice by the big fella there at defensive tackle. He never bought into that play-action fake and went right in for the quarterback and brought him down. The offense now facing a third and long from the 26. Got to avoid a mistake here. Back to throw. It's back. Defense is coming after him. And he just throws that one away. Took a big shot, but avoids the sack. Hey, I understand the aggressive approach here on third down and long, trying to pick up the first down, but look at the scoreboard. You've got the lead in the fourth quarter. Smart play would have been to keep running the football, work the clock, force them to use their timeouts. Now a fourth down and long with the lead. Tough decision here. I think you got to punt it away. Returner decides to fair catch this. And here comes the Kentucky offense back out there. They were held to a quick three and out last time, looking to put together a positive drive here. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. When they tried to get the counter play to the edge, Kirk, we've seen this defense show their ability to pursue and fly to the football. Yeah, they sure can, and they did a nice job on this counter play. A lot of times you'll see those counters go more up into the middle of a defense, but they tried to bounce that to the outside, and that gave you an idea of what kind of speed this defense has. The pocket breaking down. And it's the senior getting home with the sack. Man, it has been a rough night for this poor offensive line, and it's only getting worse. That's five sacks they've now given up so far in this game alone. Well, a serious challenge for this offense. You don't want to be in third and long inside your own 20. How much of a risk will they take to try to pick up this first down? Doesn't hold on. Good hit by the DB. Now it brings up fourth down. Yeah. 
The offense stays on the field, down multiple possessions. Easy choice. And he's throwing for it on fourth down. Fires it to the wideout. Oh, and they cannot connect. Really needed that completion. Instead, it's a turnover on downs. Off the play fake on first down. Quarterback finds an open target on the left side. But well, how about this aggressive approach by this offense? They've got the lead in the fourth quarter, and these guys are continuing to throw the football. I think the offense coordinator understands that he can't allow his team to get too comfortable or complacent, even with having a lead here in the fourth. They can put the game away right here. It's first and goal. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. Ball carrier brought down at the four. Offense in great scoring position here. And the defense is doing everything they can to try to rip that ball out. They've got to get the football back to their own offense to have any chance, obviously, of winning this game. That's a second and goal play for the offense. And the flag is out before the snap. The defense may have been a little bit over-eager that time. Second down and goal, upcoming. And the head coach will decide to accept the penalty and take the yardage. Second and goal to hand it to him again. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, these obvious running situations are very tough when you're working with the lead late because you know the defense back the line of scrimmage, make it as difficult as possible for you to run the football. So nice job there by the defense. They're trying to punch that ball out, do anything they can at all to get the ball back. They try to muscle toward the end zone on the ground. Touchdown, Bulldogs! Still no answer for this offense. Man, that's another touchdown for this guy. This defense better adjust and get eyes into that backfield, or he may go for a third or a fourth later today. Now the important point after attempt. And the extra point up and good makes it a three-score game. Up 17 here in the fourth. The kickoff team on the field now as they get set to send this one away. And he takes this from inside the five. The Turner brought down, sets up the next drive. And the Kentucky offense is back out on the field. Last time they gambled and lost, went for it in fourth down in their territory and got stopped. On the run, going to heave it downfield. Tried to press the ball deep, but it's incomplete. This is smart defense. When you're trying to protect the lead late in the game, you know they're going to take some shots. Get those safeties and those defensive backs back far, anticipating a deep throw, and knock the ball away. The completion makes it second down. Back to throw. It's Vandegrift. That's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact. No flag brings up third down. All of this pressure and sacks are starting to impact this quarterback. You can sense that internal timer is sped up a bit more than usual. Well, it's been tough so far to get this drive going. Now they face third and 10 from inside their own 20. What's the call going to be? Receiver makes the grab. Defense will wrap him up after an eight-yard gain. It'll bring up fourth down. Chris, great effort here by this defense to keep him short of the first down. Now they've got a tough decision to make here on this fourth down and short. So down by multiple possessions here. The offense will try to convert here on fourth down. And he'll set up to throw. And he's going to float this one to the right side. And it's broken up nicely. A defensive stop and a turnover on downs. The offensive coordinator begins this drive with excellent field position. And they'll keep it on the ground trying to run some clock. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Chris, I think we all kind of get caught up in third down. What, what's an offense doing on third down? But I think what's also important is how well do you defend first 
down. If you can hold your opponents to a short gain or a tackle for a loss, you throw the offense out of whack, and their game plan gets much more challenging to try to come up with that first down. Now it's second down here. And now the running back's got it again. And the senior able to make the stop after a short gain. Now it's third and short from the 21. Defense trying to make a stand here and prevent a touchdown. Gonna run it. It's ETN. Defense stops him short of the marker. So now it's fourth down. Well, here we go again. The field goal team is out there. This kicker's already got three makes in this game. The kick is good. He knocked it right down the middle. And that will extend their lead even further. I was watching this guy in pregame. He has got a strong leg. Not surprised here he's able to put three points up here for the offense. Getting set to kick off after extending the lead with the field goal, the offense knows they have a long way to go and not much time to get there. So no return here. He takes a knee in the end zone, and they'll begin the drive at the 25. And here comes the Kentucky offense back out there. Well, this has been a disappointment. They've had their doors blown off here, just playing for pride at this point. They bring him down, but a big chunk of yardage on the play. The offense signals for a timeout, 28 seconds remaining on the clock. Nice game, moves the ball to the 47, another first down. To the air, it's Vandegriff. It's incomplete, they waited all game for a chance to intercept one. Instead, it's second down. Man, Chris, I don't know if that was a bad read by the quarterback or a bad route by the receiver. They gotta get this cleaned up before the next time they go through the air. Second down play coming up for this offense. Here's the snap, looking to throw. Tried to go very deep there, good effort. And now it's third down. Well, they don't connect here, but this is what you have to do. It's late in the game, you need points, you're behind, you gotta take some shots. I'd go right back to it, try to find a matchup and go to one of your receivers that can make a play for you. Great start to the drive, but now back-to-back -back completions makes it third and ten. Trying to create here on the move. Makes the catch downfield. The offense spends a timeout here. There are 16 seconds remaining. Kentucky getting set with a first and ten coming up. They snap it. Quarterback looking to throw the ball. Launching it. He's got it for a big game. Force out of bounds, but not before the football's moved inside the 10. It'll be first down and goal. That huge play sets up a great opportunity. First and goal just outside the five. Offense looking to throw the ball. He's running out of time here. He's got it near the end zone. Brought down, but the catch moves the ball all the way down to the one. And a late timeout taken, just four seconds on the clock. Offense facing second and goal. And the quarterback dropping back. Makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, Wildcats. Well, that's a thing of beauty right there. Good job all around. Offensive line gave the quarterback enough time. Quarterback puts it right on the money. And with this receiver running a route like this, it makes it pretty simple. All you have to do is get his head turned around, catch that football. He's already in the end zone for the touchdown. Here comes the point after attempt. And the PAT is good.
Now they get set to kick it away. And he'll bring it out from inside the 10. And the returner is brought down as the clock expires. That will wrap up this football game.